Those guys are so carefree, they kill each other and just straight up don't care. Everybody, Nostalgia Scott comes to you guys with part 9 of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for the, the uh, Xbox. Now, I was trying to record PS3 for literally the last, like, I don't know, 45 minutes, hour, but every time it went to log into a game and would connect to the PlayStation Network, the game would just straight up, like, freeze the system and everything. So I think with the current update that they had used the other day, it broke the game. So anyways, we're going to be going to the final level we can get 100% on, which is Magma Cone. Which is kind of a tie-in level to Fracture Hills, despite not looking or resembling Fracture Hills in environment at all. You guys are kind of creepy that you guys just like don't care that you kill each other or let each other die I guess. There's 400 gems and 3 orbs here. The orbs here are actually kind of annoying to get. But let's see what's up here. Hello Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. Oh, I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shapers set off the volcano. Yeah so Earth Shapers are the reason why this level and uh, Fracture Hills are kind of tied in. Also, I don't think you can flame these guys because they're always made out of earth. And dirt really doesn't take a lot of damage from fire in real life because you can use dirt to smother fire, so it kind of makes sense, right? And also go down here to look for some cash monies that may have fallen into this weird, like, sewer way of lava because, yes, we all want a sewer lava way. Now, these are the main earth shapers, so the gimmick of this level is you have to knock them onto these X's, where then a satyr will, you know, destroy them in some goofy way. In that case, it was a lava ball that he was somehow holding. Despite them getting killed by the, the balls themselves, I don't know how it works. Don't ask me, I'm not a satyr biologist. Whoa. Get over here. I was looking at this adorable snail. I don't like the death animations that they did for all the fodder. A lot of them had unique ones back in, like, the original games. Also, how do I get off of these? And the fact that it's harder to get off of them than they used to be is ridiculous. Yeah, this level's kind of set up really weird, where it's like a bunch of little, like, alcoves and ledges with gems. Oh god, I can hear the little goofball laughing still. That's kind of creepy. Give me a life, no? Luckily, unlike the original, none of the gems fall off there. Oh, and this one only blew up into one blue gem. Nice. Alright. Ugh, let me up. I want up there, because that's where an orb is. Let me get to the orb, please. Alright. Oh, I guess we're gonna go this way and go the long way, because why not? That's a Pokemon, for those who don't know. That would be funnier if I was doing a Pokemon Let's Play, but I'm not doing Pokemon. And I probably won't for a while, because they don't get a lot of views when you do Let's Plays of Pokemon. Like, when you do specialty runs, sure, but that's about it. Anyways, here's Hunter. Hey Spyro, check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. Eh, sure. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, this challenge is kind of interesting, because, like, you're going to want to follow the, uh, like, the smoke here and try and get to it before Hunter does. And you can steal it from him, and he can also steal them from you. Uh, oh, I actually caught that one. I don't even know how I managed that, but, uh, I'll happily take it. And then you have to do this twice, because we obviously seen that he had another challenge, right? 
Oh man, how'd you know that was going there? I didn't even know it was going there. Oh, this one's mine. Thank you very much. Wait, how'd you miss that one, Hunter? Oh, no. Man, you're slow, Hunter. Like, dude, your reaction time is that of a potato. My lord, dude. I think... Ugh. And there we go, we did it. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. And thank you for the orb that I wish still had the bounce animation that the original did. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? I'm ri And then he just does the same thing. Yeah, this one I could see being a five-star challenge, because Hunter can be a pretty big turd when it comes to uh, stealing the uh, gems, or the crystals. But if you stand on it like that, there's no way he can do it, because you're shorter than he is, so you're closer to the ground. But he can also get it easier when it's up above you. Man, I really wish the camera, though, like, wasn't active in this. That way you could, uh, potentially see better. Like, you can move the camera with the analog stick, but it moves too slow. Oh, I was lucky with that one. Where are they? Oh, it was behind me. Okay. Thank you. I think I got that one. I don't even know if I got that one. I guess I did. It was hard to tell if I got it. Oh, he, he's just camping that one. Camper. Aha. Aha. Only five left to go, and you have a whole three, Mr. Hunter. Be a shame if I one-upped you again, even though you don't like me. He actually grows to be like your best friend, though, throughout the games. I'm just kind of a weird dude. Oh man, you you're just getting destroyed, buddy. I don't remember this ever being as easy as they made it in this, but sure. You're really good. I'm gonna have to come up with some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. Well, thank you. I'll happily take this orb that I earned. And that's two of the three orbs already. That's another thing I don't like about Spire 2, is a lot of the orbs are multiple versions of the same challenge, unless there's just like two orbs in a level. In which then they'll both be different, but then in a level with four orbs or three orbs, you generally have about the same amount of challenges anyway, so it's not really that unique. Oh no, this man has a hammer. And he got killed by a wrecking ball. Well, sucks to be him, I guess. I don't even know if it hurts them, because they're made out of stone, you know? Like... Does being made of stone actually cause pain or anything at any point? Like, do they feel physical pain? Like I said, I don't know. I'm not made out of stone. I'm made out of flesh, bone, and blood. And tissue and ligaments and all that stuff, you know? Normal, humanly features. Oh, I thought there was an alcove there. Alright, nothing over there. It's Christmas time over here with these gems. Oh, is this like the first one that we actually have to um, hit multiple times? It is! We actually had to hit two, three times and you got jackhammered. We've only defeated seven enemies, really, and we're already at the volcano. And I always forget, like, how short this level actually is. Like, we've been here for a while, but like... In terms of level, it's really not that big. It's just a loop around level. Like, see how it looped around? Alright. Oh yeah, we gotta pay this greedy glutton of a bear again, because why not? Thanks for the three lives. I'm pretty sure that's the achievement. At least I think it is. Wait a minute, is that a... Oh, I thought there was a cliff over there that we could get to. Oh, I guess we'll pay money bags, because money bags is a greedy bear. Well, if it isn't my best customer... The elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. Well, this is only 200. Pleasure doing business with you. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. Wow, amazing. And you know what's funny? You can just fall off. Not only is it faster, but, yeah, you wasted money, because logic, right? Whoa, I thought I fell into the lava there. 
This part of the level actually looks really cool. I really do like the lava effects they did down there. Well, I guess since this is a volcano, right? This would be magma, not lava. Yeah, so now you have to climb the volcano, and that's how we're going to beat the level. It's because you technically have to climb the volcano. Okay, there's nothing over here. Good to know. Man, I thought there was a lot more obstacles as a kid climbing up this. I think they dumbed it down quite a bit, though, in the remake. Because there we go, we beat it. We close the volcano, which gets us the talisman. We're closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things are getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Thank you, Bippo the Fawn. And it's a crystal volcano. At least that one's still pretty cool. Oh, it's like, where's the portal? It didn't have its animation, but it's right there. Yeah, and here's the other orb. I believe you do have to actually talk to him to trigger it. Hey, Spyro. You're just in time for the party. Well, you would be, if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. Wow, party hats. <laughs> now, why would those things have party hats, exactly? So, the rest of the gems should be these few balloons that you'll find, like, throughout the area, like here. That you're gonna want to pop. And then, now we need to go back up here. Where's the... here we go. I just want this to get grab this. Now careful, these guys don't hurt you, but they will knock you into the lava. And that can be annoying, because they could, like, chain hit you. Like, they can, you can repeatedly take damage from the lava. Except, I feel like they're dumber than normal, because I remember them being a little more aggressive than they are. And I'm not entirely sure why they don't seem to attack as often anymore. Oh, well, I missed him, apparently. Fire in the hole! And fire in the hole! Hey, we're already back here, nice. Yay, let's kill this guy while we're at it. Go grab some more flight. I love the sound effect of the lava though. Hey, senorita. Die! I don't know if they're senoritas or senors, but regardless, they're dead, like a meteor crashing into our face. Thank you for the gem. Whoa, why is there a second one already? You vile fiend. And there we go, there's all the gems, too. And then we're only gonna have that one left up top, and then we're golden. I don't know why they're not attacking more often, though. I really feel like they dumbed down a lot of these challenges in this game, and then made other ones like the hockey one slightly more difficult, because you can't, like, predict where everything's going to be. And here's the final orb and 100% on the level. Pew! Thanks, Spyro. You saved the party! Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. Okay, Cheddar. Of course he's eating cheese balls, right? His name is literally Cheddar. And there we go, that's 100% on this level done too. Woohoo! Let's go home. Those guys are so carefree, they kill each other and just straight up don't care. And those guys are psychopaths. I think we have time to go do the speedway. We definitely do not have time to do Fracture Hills, because it is a longer level, despite not being able to get two orbs. Uh, so the last speedway is over here. Way over here for whatever reason, because I guess they wanted to make it like the last level of the zone, I guess. So we'll go do... Icy Speedway, let's go. Alright, so let's destroy these snowmobile freaks. Now we gotta go up top and kill the ones in the air. 
guess we killed all the ones on the ground, because... I don't know why I did it like that, because we're weird, I guess. Why is he, like, spinning like that? That was just weird. Alright, Mr. Skater Dude guy person, I guess. Alright. Let's kill some sea serpents now. I will admit, though, the speedway does look really cool. No pun intended, because it is cool here, get it? Because it's all icy... I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going on about. The speed was also pretty unique with, like, what kind of creatures you, uh, deal with here. Alright. There's all the sea monsters down, too. And then now we just gotta... Break all of these and lose all momentum, because why not, right? Dive bomb! And I got the skill point without even trying. That's that's hilarious. Like I straight up wasn't trying. We might actually have time to do Shady Oasis in this uh, episode too, because right here is Hunter. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Um, it's literally a, a f area where I fly. Great. I'll tow you behind my snowmobile, and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any, or we'll have to start over. This one's pretty fun, but once again, these were multicolored rings in the original, and for whatever reason, they decided to make them red in this game. I don't know why they did that. They ruined so many cool little touches, but apparently this game was rushed, just like Spyro 3 was rushed in real life. Except Spyro 3, like, on the PS1, actually came out better than it did on this game. Like, it's not a bad game, don't get me wrong, but they took a lot of the personality away from it. Which is something that they do with a lot of remakes. And I think that's why they never do as good as people expect them to. Like, oh man, we've been waiting for this game to come out for years on modern consoles, and then somehow you butchered it. Yay. Or they dumb down games way too much to make it seem like they're appealing to babies, and you're just like, that's nuts. Go Spyro. You're even better than I am. Well, thank you. And thank you for the orb. And now we can just straight up leave the level. Like, that was it. We got our 400 gems. Now we can go to Shady Oasis and go do that level. And then next episode we'll probably do Fracture Hills, the boss in the next home world. Then probably backtrack. And then go do another level. All right, let's go do a Shady Oasis. Right on, I'm perfectly fine with that. Getting a little bit of extra content in an episode, not bad at all. Luckily, this level's pretty darn short, though. Like, it's not very long, regardless that we can't get 100%. Then you come back, you only have to do, like, two little things. That thief clearly knew what was up. He clearly threw that to him on purpose. Anyways, Spyro, oh. it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Yeah, and if you do. He'll turn big and fat and break through doors, because childhood obesity is awesome. Like, look at that, man. You can't tell me that's right. Oh, yeah. And he'll also kill the enemies that get in his way while he's big. And these black-faced thief guys. What are they doing here again? Now they have swords and not stealing dragon eggs like in Spiral 1. Oh, yeah. He waits for you. Unlike the, the mice do in um, Glimmer. They used to do that in the original, like, where they'd wait for you, but in this game they don't. But these guys, or this one guy in particular, Shorty, still waits for you. So, sometimes I really question, like, why we're even helping these characters out. Because, like, clearly, when you beat this level, you'll see that maybe the thieves aren't really super evil. Maybe they're just hungry because the hippos are stealing all their food or something. But... 
I, there's a lot of cases in this game where you're helping both sides. It really makes you question, like, which one is supposed to be the good guy? Also, I'm hearing an enemy, but it must be above me. Because we certainly can't reach any enemy there, that's for sure. Um, are you seriously stuck on the enemy there, buddy? You can actually flame those guys if you don't hit their shield. Oh, look, we gotta do this again, but kind of a challenge this time. It sucks, though, because you can't get 100% on this level via gems or orbs. You're only missing, I think, like 20 gems or something like that in one orb. There's only two orbs here, and you can only get one. You know how saddening that is? Dude, you could have at least killed that guy for me since you're just trotting through all these enemies. Ooh. And the thieves have the weirdest sound effects sometimes. Like, not gonna lie, they're, they're, they're kinda goofy, but I love it. I love a lot of the characters in the Spyro franchise, they're just hilarious. Wait, did you see that tree move? Can I actually, like, push the tree? Also, if you run into him, you'll get stunned like that. You won't take damage, but you'll get stunned. He did that in the original, too. He'd knock you back. Just, I think he actually had to run over you and not just bump into you. Yeah, see, if you attack him without the shield up, you can instantly kill them. Okay, right, nothing over there. Wow, just killing all these enemies like nothing, right? Did he run ahead? Wait, where is he? Did we miss him? Oh my god. Do we actually have to go back and wait for him? Ooh, the double kill. Man, we're getting pretty good with our flame breath, don't you think? Just insta-killing all these noobs. Do we really have to wait for- You're all the way back at the beginning? Come on, Shorty. Your name's Shorty because you're, sh you're short-brained. I don't know. Why the long way, Shorty? Do you really need me to be on the exact same platform breathing in your musky friggin' hippopotamus batwing scent? Eat your berry and get to the end of the level, because that's the end of the level right through there. Already. Ow! You fat arse, get back here. Like, yeah, that's the level. Like I told you, we haven't even been here six minutes, and we're already at the ending. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. All right. Your talisman is just a boring magic lamp. Yay. Only one more talisman to go. And look, a mystery vase. Oh, if you're wondering what orb we can actually get here, it's actually this one. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Eh, sure, why not? I'll help you. Also, no challenge stars. Alright, that seems fine enough. No, I missed that one red gem. I think luckily I have to go back down there. But, where's money down here and the thief? Now, you don't need the invincibility to get the thief, but it is recommended because then you can kind of cheese this a bit. But we got it. And we can hit this vase. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's where that gem is that we're missing, so. Then we can also get this rocket. Yeah, so the gems you can't get are these because, weird, huh? We don't have any way to do it. Also, you can't stand on it for some reason. In the original, you could. I don't know why they removed that feature. That seems kind of odd. And this is the orb you can't do because you need that same ability that you need to get those gems, but we don't have it yet. So, sadly going to have to wait for that. That's a lot of gems, though. Are those gems? I swear those globs are just green gems and they're just playing with my eyes, man. Oh, look, there's a thief or sin. Oh, come off it, man. That that should have hit him. And you know it, game. 
There we go. Now we'll go get that vase up here and grab that gem that we missed. Oh wait, those were on the other stairs. Actually, yeah, I do. It's, I, it's like literally right there. And the gem is right there too. Stop getting stuck on everything, Spyro. I always forget if there's an actual staircase there though. Oh, and that one's right by those gems literally right there. I love how it's like showing us exactly where we need to go so flawlessly. I'm pretty sure this is the last one too that we need to send it to. Nice. Oh my god, we are missing exactly 20 gems in there. You gotta be kidding me. How did I know exactly how many gems are in there? Why? Because I'm pretty sure it's those things always have 20 gems in them. I'm like pretty sure this is how it goes. Now the other thief is through a hallway, so it should be this hallway up here. Should be just at the end of this one. Yes sirree, there he is. This one... While following a more simple pattern, he definitely does have the, uh, the... the speed advantage to him, that's for sure. And he's pretty smart with turning around to not let you cut him off. Like that, you know? And there we go, that's the last one. I'm sure I'm actually teleport. Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Thank you. And that's the only orb we can get here. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be going to Fracture Hills and doing that. Darn it, Shorty. Anyways, like I said, we'll be doing um, Fracture Hills in the boss level and stuff, so join the Patreon, Discord, and links below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Next time, I'll see you guys for more Spyro. But before I go, that cutscene, um, Shorty was supposed to roll the fruit to one of the other hippos, and the other hippos was supposed to look at him and go, are you serious, bro? Yeah, bye-bye.